Hi everyone, and this is Ivy of Mummy Diary a week. Oh, how old is Rowan? 17. I think it's 17. I hope it's 17. 17. So, week 17. Holy cow, that means that he is four months old tomorrow. Um, I just go by the sixth of every month. I was going by weeks, and then my friend was like, why don't you just go the sixth of every month? And I was kind of like, oh, okay, I'll do that then. Um, so I can't believe he's four months old. It's just, it's going just so fast, don't you think? I mean, I can't believe Christmas is nearly here as well. I love Christmas. We finally have our Christmas tree up. We go into our new house, which we um, have finished painting and it looks amazing. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, Roman, what are the updates for this week? Nothing much, to be honest. Um, he did roll over um, twice, like he rolled over and then up and back down and he did it again and then since then he hasn't done it again he kind of leans like this but he never actually gets completely over so but I was like it was a weird emotion when he did it I was kind of like oh my gosh my baby just hit another milestone he's growing up too fast <laughs> but I was also really excited at the same time so um but that's really cool I haven't given him any more solids lately and you wouldn't believe it but this entire week he has not screamed during a feed so that is wonderful finally getting some normal feeds through which is makes me feel a lot better um it wasn't stressing me out but it was just kind of it was making me think is something wrong and I don't like wondering if something is wrong so I'm I'm a lot happier now that um, we're getting through feeds completely normally, which is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. He's getting out in the sun a lot more now that summer's here, and um, he's even just wearing um, onesies, you know, the ones that are like a sleeve, and then it goes, you button them up under their nappy, that's all he's wearing at the moment because it's just getting so warm over here, which is <gasps> wonderful. I love summer. I love, love, love summer. Um, I had someone ask in my blog why I wanted to have a summer baby and because they were like why on earth would you want to do that because you know you're all you're like a huge whale in the middle of the, a heat wave and I just said that because um, summer's kind of a nice time to be able to have a birthday and also because when I was going through my pregnancy with Roman it was all through the winter months and I wore these big bulky juicies jackets pants I just want to be able to wear beautiful floaty dresses and oh, this is all in an ideal world and that's what I said to her I was like you know it's kind of wishful thinking but um we have an embryo to use which means we can just kind of decide when we want to use it um I do have I have written up in my blog um our plan for baby number two because we do have a plan um so check out my blog um looking under look under baby number two the plan it's it should be on the first page actually to be honest um so if you want to have a look at that um so the whole baby bunting thing i am so excited i'm so so excited um i there's a few of you who have decided that you're going to make one and that's wonderful and thank you to vicky she took a she's um she said that she didn't know how to sew. Uh, Vicky is R and B, and a couple of numbers after that. I think that's her YouTube name. She took a photo of her and her um, twin sister um, making the bun bunting for me, which was so cute. I was just like, oh, that's so wonderful. I can't wait to get it. Um, so Vicky said she couldn't sew, so she was giving instructions to her sister, who was making it. Um, so they were doing a bit of a team effort, which was really cool. Um, I think Leanna May said that she was also keen to do one. Um, oh, I can't remember who else said. There's quite a few of you anyway who who have um, decided that you'd be keen on doing that, and that is so wonderful. I I really cannot wait to show them off. That's so cool. So, um, for anyone else who wants to do it, it is absolutely not too late. You're welcome to make one at any point in time. I'll let you guys know when I'm kind of nearing the end of making it the length I want. So just keep sending them in and if you want to make more than one you are more than welcome to make more than one and today's the 5th of December and I'm the reason that's so exciting is in four days time it would have been a year since um our embryo waffle which ended up being Roman was um put back in me we had an FET on the 9th of December and then on the 14th 
of December, I think it was, um, is when we officially found out that we were pregnant um, with that digital pregnancy test. So I'll be doing like a little reminiscing vlog maybe then. Um, I just can't believe it's been a year, it's just flown by and um, I feel like my next trying to conceive diaries are going to be coming up very soon because time is just going way too fast. I was with, who was it the other day? Oh, our bank manager for getting our loan, figuring out how much we're going to have our mortgage fixed and how much we're going to have floating. Oh, it goes over my head. Um, anyway, we're talking to her and about how time's going so fast and she was saying, yeah, one day you're going to wake up and you're going to be 40. And I was like, oh my gosh, don't say that. <laughs> I don't want to wake up and be 40, my goodness. Um, but she was really lovely and gosh, mortgages are such huge things, aren't they? Like, when we're going to look at our bank account, I don't think it's at that stage yet, but it's going to be in the red by however many thousands of dollars we brought this house for. can't quite remember. Um, so it's going to be a little bit scary because I hate being in debt by even a couple of hundred dollars. So we're going to be in very, very big debt, but it's for a good thing, you know. Um, a house is an investment and um, we're having a lot of fun doing it up and it's going to be our home for at least the next two years, depending on if another baby arrives or not um, so that's really exciting but it's pretty much all you guys um, my house here is an absolute pigsty which usually happens when um, when I'm packing actually that's a video I'll do at the end of this I'll do a tour of this house because I know I said when we first moved in here I wasn't going to do a tour of this house because it's a it's a piece of crap really but um, I'll let you have a look gee that lady's breathing hard I'm actually watching um, one born every minute and the lounge there and there's a lady breathing very very hard on that gas I can hear. Ah oh, the gas. I had a really good time on the gas when I was in labour. <laughs> I think I'll use it again in my next labour. Alright okay so that's all guys because I'm blubbering on about nothing and um so you really appreciate appreciate you guys who are doing the um bunting for me. Oh and also I just wanted to add that my um trying to see trying to conceive giveaway is finished. And if you entered that, you might want to have a look and see if you won because no one has claimed the prize yet. And if you don't claim the prize, I'll have to pull out another name. So if you're in it, if you if you entered, please, please, please go onto my blog and check if you were the one who won because I need your address to send it to you. Okay, that's all guys. Um, so I'm going to go and do a whip around and do a quick um, tour of my house for you guys to have a look at. Okay, see ya. Okay, so here is our Christmas tree. And you are saying to me... You're probably saying to me, why is a Christmas tree so plain? Well, it's plain because it's fiber optic. Um, see these little white bits on it? They um, light up at night, so it looks really cool. And I thought there's no point in putting lots of stuff on it when we're only going to be taking it down to shift. Anyway, so this is the lounge. This is where I've done most of our, my, some of my video diaries anyway. And yes, it is a complete pigsty, but it's because I'm packing. I'm packing, 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 so please excuse the mess. Alright, this is where we, it's kind of cleaned out now a little bit because we took some stuff, but that is a room. Who puts a room off a lounge? I really don't know, it's just weird. Here we got the entrance, bathroom, see so this place is just so absolutely cruddy. You'll see that box there and most of my weighing going on. Let's pray in. Okay, this is our bedroom, which is a complete pigsty. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed right now. So that's our bedroom. This house is set out so weird, by the way, guys. I'm being quiet because Roman's asleep. This is where I do my other video diaries when I'm sitting at my, um, when I do them on the um, webcam on the computer. This is the kitchen, which is terrible, it's so small. Which is also a pigsty. And here's the, um, what would you call it, wash house? And in here is Roman's room. Which is pretty much empty.
yeah so that's it guys um but roman's room is pretty much empty because i packed that first alrighty that's all